Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one select is airplane layer and press P. So select position and right mouse, go to separate dimension. And right now we have X position and Y position. So select is Y position and I will add expression for this animation. So first select is Y position. Let's hold Alt click time icon for open expression. And right here we go 110 and click this area for down expression. Let's zoom into layer. Okay, not bad. We can change this 12. Okay, very nice. Select this X position. Let's hold Alt click time icon and right wiggle 1, 6. And click here for down. Let's see. Okay, very good. So go to first second, close these settings and select the sky layer. Okay, let's lock. Select these back clouds. Go to solo. Okay. I want to make repetile effect. Go to FX presses, search FX CC repetile. Select repetile, let's use for back clouds. And let's move right this cloud and go to CC repetile, change, expand left. Okay, and change tiling flip H and change value like this. So let's put here these clouds and select these back clouds. Let's press P, make new passing Q frame and unsolo. Go to seven second and move to right. Let's change expand left more. Let's right here. 15,000. Okay, select last few frame and move right more for this animation. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So, in this time, select this layer cloud and right mouse, pre compass, add name cloud and click OK. Open compensation and right mouse, compensation settings and change compensation sizes like this so this way for make spacing this cloud copies let's back to airplane and use repetile for this cloud compensation and change expand right okay let's put here change this 5000 okay so let's open cloud select this cloud layer let's copy and back to control V here and change scale and select this cloud let's hide select cloud layer let's put here so if i use cc repetile file only this layer let's try and change expand right okay and for this i can't see here spacing and for fix it make compensation for this cloud let's enable cloud Okay, let's see difference and select this cloud. We have 5000 expand right here and select this cloud layer. Let's change this 5000 and we have not any spacing in these clouds. So select cloud layer, delete. Select this cloud and let's put here and let's control D for duplicate. Move to down and move to left. Let's see. Okay, so and select this cloud compensation. Let's press P. And first, let's move to left all this expand and change this 15,000. And move to left more. And let's create new passing Q frame. Go to last second and move to right. Let's see. Okay. So select this compensation cloud 2. Also change expand right 15,000 and press P, move to left and make new pass in Q-frame, go to last second and move to right. Let's see. Okay, 
So let's open Cloud Conversation and let's use Effect Wiggle. Select Wiggle Position, use for Cloud Layer. Let's see. Okay, we can change this 25 and back to Conversation. Okay, very nice. And select this Cloud 2. And press S, change scale. Okay, and press P. Select two position Q frames. And go to first second and move up a little bit. Okay, select these clouds, move to behind airplane. And select this airplane, press S, change scale. Okay, and move up a little bit. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's create new adjustment layer and go to FX Presses Search Effect Lens. Select Lens Flare. Let's use for adjustment layer. Okay, and change like like this and make flare center Q frame. Go to last second and change flare like this. Let's see. Okay, and we can change flare brightness. Okay, very nice. So, finally, let's select all these layers and close settings. And let's create a solid layer for Flimbox. Add name Flimbox. Change color to black. Click OK. Click OK here. And enable title action save. Go to rectangle tool. And let's make mask like this Clization tool and click inverted checkbox okay and close title action save nice okay very nice and finally let's go to fx presses search effect gaussian blur and select gaussian blur let's use for composition cloud tool and change blurness Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Nice, very good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.